Monday this week, um, my mom left to go back to Eugene, Oregon. She had been visiting for a week, and we took her up to Stikine. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Uh, it's a lot of ice and icebergs, but it was pretty cool. We saw some bears. So, let's see, and that very day that my mom left on Monday, Todd and Peter came out to talk about what we're going to do with this expanded garden area. You know, we, they had brought out some a bunch of soil and then put a bunch of sand on top of it. And um, then the plan was to mix it up to kind of, they were going to come back and mix it up so that um, uh, then I could come back and till and get the sticks out and stuff like that. So they did that. Peter came out on Monday and um, mixed everything up. And then the very next day, we only had one more day of sun, and Tyler and I came out. Um, we kind of did, did our old program of, um, you know, when we got a, a new piece of dirt, um, he does the tilling, and then he'll like kind of scrape his foot along and say, hey, there's something right there, because the, the tiller will start jumping around. So then I'll come in and dig out, um, you know, whether it's a rock or sticks. There's a lot of sticks in this stuff. Um, Todd had said, oh my gosh, there's so many sticks. And we're like, no big deal. We're just gonna toss everything out there. And then rather than trying to get all the sticks out, whatever is like tiller deep, we'll go through and we'll pull that surface stuff out so we don't have to try and get sticks out of the whole mass of it. So we spent hours doing that um, on Tuesday. And then it's just been pouring down rain. So. I thought today was going to be super rainy, but it actually, the sun came out. So what I'm going to do is go out, and I don't know if this is the way to do it, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to actually form my beds, like um, make sure I know where the, the border of the garden is going to be, um, first bed, and then like put my pathways in. And um, in the past, I've been trying to get like six inch pathways, but I always end up walking through and it ends up being like a one foot pathway anyway. So I gotta figure this out. <laughs> Whether I want one foot pathways or one and a half foot pathways. If I was smart, I'd do one and a half feet, but I think I'm just gonna try a foot because when I measure out in my original garden bed out here, the pathways become about a foot with me walking sideways and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna measure out one foot pathways, 30 inch beds, and then when when we come and put the seaweed in and stuff, I'm just putting it on the beds and not on the pathways. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, and today and tomorrow are supposed to be nice and then it's supposed to rain again. I thought about planting clover, so we'll see how far I get. <laughs> it's so funny, I just finished talking to you guys and then I came out here to measure some things and um, then it started sprinkling. But I don't know, it's just, there's this really big cloud, but it looks like it might just kind of pass over, so. Um, it stopped. Okay, I'm gonna make this a two foot wide pathway at the edge. Just because I have kind of extra out here too, you know. And it's not even tight. That is hilarious. Oh my god. Let's see. <laughs> Let's wrap it around. Okay. So now what I do is I just stomp back and forth on it until it's a somewhat clear pathway. <laughs> it's freaking starting to rain. What? Well, the weather can't decide what it's going to do. I do need to take advantage of the sun and pull down those sugar snap peas. I'm kind of bummed. I'm like, I'm really bummed actually, because I, I actually got my trellis up on time and got the peas going and, and then they get this blight stuff. And then I've just been scrounging whatever little kind of peas I can get off of them. Um, and so I just really need to pull them down. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. So it is actually the next day. The reason I'm wearing the same clothes is because that's just kind of how I do it. I wear the same clothes outdoors until they're like super gross. And then I change them out and then wear those until they're super gross. 
do a couple rows at a time, so they don't just collapse. Okay, so I've got six new beds marked out here. And right here, I would get an additional bed, so that's seven, before I hit hit the original garden area. I had five beds in here, but that's only because I was putting in six inch pathways. So I probably will only get like four beds in here when I do the 12 inch pathways. So that's about 11 beds for next year. And greenhouse should be right out there. I've got a little basil plant out here, outside in the garden, this volunteer. Yeah. yeah, that's why I can't grow basil outside. So I've been cutting spinach for Tyler's salad. And you can see, it's already starting to go to seed, but I'm picking off what I can. And then I also grabbed some lettuce. Um, some of these are still regrowing back. I don't know how well they'll do. And some of them are just rotting after I cut them. That could be from just maybe just too much rain going in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing that until everything goes to hell. There's the spinach. And there's the lettuce. And that um, will do for about two days worth of his salads. So it goes in half. And then I primarily eat cooked kale. Yesterday evening I spent two hours on that far bed just going through it with a pitchfork and getting any rocks and sticks that were left in there that, you know, maybe the rototiller just kind of jumped over. Temperature is reading 56 degrees Fahrenheit some sort of equipment running out on the main road there. It's kind of noisy. So yeah, I call on Michelle, taste of Asia, see if she needs any basil, but I didn't give her so much message, so we'll see. I think I'm just going to pick a bunch of stuff here. I let everybody know that I'm not going to have any basil starting the beginning of October, because last year I looked at my notes, and last year, um, we ha actually had a freeze kind of the beginning of October. I've got a bunch of um, kind of mildewy plants going on in here. Um, and I kind of thought about cleaning things up, but you know, with only a few weeks left of having to kind of have nice basil, then I think that I'm just gonna clean it up all up when I'm done. So I did get a call from Michelle at the restaurant and she does want to six ounce bags of basil. So I'm going to get those to her in, in a little bit and then I picked some more that I'll put into one ounce bags for the store for Twisted Root Market and then also oh my god the wind is blowing stuff around I'll also pick some bunches for the store tomorrow morning and then we had days and days of a ton more rain so any idea that I had of planting a cover crop of clover, it was already way too late really to get that done anyway. I just had to kiss that idea goodbye. And then I've been feeling like I'm fighting a cold or the flu or something, so I've been spending all my time indoors working on editing this um, video that I took of a couple hour tour of Farragut Farm, which is north of Petersburg on the mainland. And I'm hoping to be able to show that to you guys. If not, I'll just um, do a recap of it anyway.